Since its launch on November 30th, 2022, ChatGPT has taken the internet by storm. Discussions of what the impact of ChatGPT will have on life and technology run rampant on social media, but many of those that hear about it never bother to actually research. That raises a fundamental question of this topic. What is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is a language processing tool driven by the artificial intelligence technology that functions in a deeper, more analytic way than most chatbots. It allows human-like conversations to be conducted by answering questions and assisting the user with tasks like writing essays, solving math problems, and producing computer code. The actual usage of ChatGPT consists of the user typing in a request and the bot typing back. It is currently free and open to the public since it is research and feedback collection phase. But the company responsible for the bot, OpenAI, also released a paid version called ChatGBT Plus in February. In order to access this tool, all one needs to do is visit chat.openai.com and create an OpenAI account. Because of this easy accessibility, it is one of the fastest growing apps of all time, getting 100 million users just two months after its release. To put that in perspective, it took the viral social media app TikTok nine months to read the same amount of users. ChatGPT still draws its data from the internet. It just composes its findings in a more sophisticated way, made to mimic human language. Since the responses are fabricated from the information found online, inaccuracies are often present in the output. Biases may also be included in the tool's responses if gathered data from biased sources. And even though the bot is intelligent, it lacks the human understanding of context, which can generate misleading or wrong answers to the question the user is asking. Perhaps the scariest and most likely outcome of Jack GBT usage in schools is the technology dependence that students may experience. Just like with cell phones, the more often students use it, the more they rely on it, and eventually it would become difficult to do any academic work without Chat GBT. ChatGPT is currently the highest quality and easiest to use AI tool of its kind, so its increasing popularity is no surprise. However, one of the biggest concerns that has risen is its effect on schools. The widespread availability of AI has instilled fear in educators across the country. Cheating is the number one worry. It is almost laughably easy for students to go home and use ChatGPT answers to their homework, thus ruining the integrity of their work. Not only is this considered plagiarism that is largely undetected when put through plagiarism checkers, but it sabotages the student's ability to learn as well. ChatGBT is able to produce entire essays when prompted without any original thought from the student's end. With such elaborate answers to student school assignments at their fingertips, they do not have to tackle problems for themselves, which stunts to critical thinking development. Besides the fact that students won't actually learn any content if they don't do the work themselves, the issue of accuracy also arises. In order to avoid negative outcomes like that, many schools have already or are about to take action. Blocking chat GBT usage on school networks and devices is the most logical preventative measure, but there are always loopholes. A student could simply use their personal device at home to access the AI tool and transfer the output to their school device. Another common way is to avoid school-wide network blocks by installing a VPN that will basically hide the device's online activity. Some schools and teachers are keeping their hopes up for AI detection programs. One such tool was created recently by a Princeton student with ChatGBT in mind. It's called ChatGBT Zero, an AI detector that has found itself to have over 1 million users. Even though that these programs sound promising, a few word changes and some paraphrasing can easily shift an AI-generated passage to non-detectable. Instead of fearing for the worst and trying to get rid of ChatGPT, some teachers are trying to find a way to incorporate it into their class to create a better learning experience for their students and prevent unauthorized usage of it behind their backs. When used sparingly, ChatGPT can enhance students' learning and provide foundations or outlines for their work. Teachers are not available to answer questions from students 24-7, but with this tool, personalized research can be conducted much faster than usual. Of course, users will need to fact-check the generated answers, but that is a necessary step in all types of research anyway. 
The chatbot's capabilities include giving feedback on pieces of writing, helping to correct grammatical errors, and translating languages. When used appropriately, ChatGPT can genuinely improve a student's skills and provide a well of knowledge. Additionally, the development of AI programs is ever-growing, so using tools like this could very well be preparing students for a future where they have to be familiar with and capable of using such things. Overall, the release of such an accessible AI tool has started to and will continue to impact the education system and have students learn for years to come. Using ChatGPT is an easy way to plagiarize and put minimal effort into studying for some, but it can also be used to improve the learning process and provide extra help for others. ChatGPT and other similar programs are here to stay, and they are changing academics one way or another.